Hello, my name is David Schwittick, and I'm, I'm Assistant Professor of Graphic Design and Digital Media at Lehman College in, in the Bronx. The project I'm working on now is called 21 Trucks of San Antonio and Texcala, and it's a series of fiber-based works that basically explore the use of trucks and also uh, foodways and farming as interconnected cultural transmitters between rural Mexico and the U.S. This project began uh, because of an earlier project I was working on with my colleague, Alicia Galvez, we made a documentary called Salud, Myths and Realities of Mexican Immigrant Health. And it's a, about a 40 minute documentary that focuses primarily on healthcare and health disparities of Mexican immigrants in the US. I saw a lot of amazing things when I was in Mexico filming this project and working with the families there, but a couple of things really stuck with me. I saw a lot of trucks. There are trucks on the road. There are trucks broken down on the side of the road. There are trucks that are sort of in people's driveways, in people's garages. There are trucks that bring day laborers to and from where they work back to their homes at night. They, they carry uh, produce around, so they have a lot of different functions. Another thing that happened uh, is I met a man named Moises Fuentes. He lives in San Antonio, Texcala, and he owns an onyx shop. But he's also what's known as a pacateria. It's essentially like a one-man FedEx delivery guy. He, um, he delivers things that are somewhat difficult to get in, in the U.S. from rural Mexican towns to migrant communities in the U.S., things like candy, medicine, spices. Chile ancho? Uh, ancho. Chile. Chile. Ancho. Sí, sí. Para mole. Sí. <laughs> and then he brings back from the U.S., remittances, microwaves, TVs, bicycles, generators. So I kind of immediately saw him as providing a very important cultural link between migrant communities in the U.S. and their families who remained back in Mexico. I wanted to make a whole series that explored different aspects of migration and rural Mexican life with trucks and also farming and foodways as metaphors. I really wanted to explore the role of the Pacateria as a cultural link between rural Mexico and the U.S. And also, I, I really just wanted to explore the morphology of trucks and vegetation to sort of further tease out cultural and migratory metaphors out of them. Trucks are these really rugged, utilitarian things that are very durable and they promise utility and, and labor, whereas plants are sort of these beautiful things that they grow and they, they try to live harmoniously amongst each other. And, and some plants travel, whereas other plants stay where they're planted. And I, and I think it was one of my goals to sort of use the more sensual aspects of trucks and plants and farming to communicate things that I was feeling about the immigration debate uh, and migration in general. I begin these compositions really just by thinking about these metaphors and different ways to convey them. But then when I have a sketch that I really want to realize, I, I really go to my computer and I build layered compositions out of vector art. I then prepare fabric for a specialized fabric cutting machine that I can use to cut these uh, vector shapes out. And then I basically uh, sit and iron these pieces together to form um, layered constructions that I then sew together. Once everything's ironed and sewn together, I just make sure that uh, everything's fastened properly. And that is basically how I obtain a completed piece. At this point, I'm nearly done with the series, which will in fact contain around 21 pieces or so, but by the time it's finished, and I will be exhibiting um, some of these pieces in January of 2020 at the University of Anahuac in Puebla, Mexico. And I'm looking currently for other exhibition opportunities. So thanks so much. And uh, if there's any questions or comments, you can contact me through my website, schwittick.com. Thank you so much.